Oh my god. I'm back. Wanna you know? I'm still not sponsored by Powerade. I'm not, po I'm not sponsored by this thing. It's just, just Powerade is really good. Why do you have to be sponsored by it? You don't have to be sponsored by it. Because, it's like I said, part two of the manga relong. They're just watching. All little things come to an end. They're just waiting for you to be sponsored by a lot of things. <laughs> ah! Powerade, my friend. How are you doing? No, I'm doing fine. I'm just, I'm just a Powerade bottle. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ow! <sighs> Oh jeez. If there is one thing I have noticed from the read along of chapters one and two, it's just too much, you know? Okay, well, enough being said. Chapter three. It's time for chapter three, where the terror gets really good. So far, you've had a evil version voice inside of Gordon's head. Which, if you don't remember, is from her falling inside the black quicksand, and then just Brent goes all out on Ben. Anyways. The first death of the whole thing is in Chapter 3. Here we go. Chapter 3, Cave of Huge Spiders. Yeah, so... Warning that when I mean huge spiders, so this is like the first time I'm like, no, it ain't the first time that I'm having spiders in a manga because one's mixed with a um octopus in one of them, but this is the first time I'm actually doing like spiders that can spin webs and everything. So here we go, chapter three is cave of huge spiders. You have been warned if you don't like spiders, click off now. Without further ado, here we go. Why are we here? More like, what is this place? Said Elf Brent. As Elf Gordon looked at Elf Brent, Elf Ben went inside the cave along with Elf Janet. Hey, I don't know if this is a good idea at all. If this seems like a good idea but i'm going inside this rancid smelling cave are you guys coming said elf janet as she entered the cave as elf gordon and elf brent went to regroup with the rest of the group all of them saw webs huger than a house they all looked at a huge rock that that fell down. Damn it. You guys okay? <laughs> huh? Ben, get away from that rock. Get, get away from it. As Elf Ben looked behind him, he ran. Elf Janice screamed the word. Run! Go, go, go. I'm right behind you said Elf Brent as he shot a bunch of huge spiders. The size of, they were the size of a huge house kitchen. Get, get out the way, Ben said Elf Janice as they all ran. But Elf Janice pushed Elf Ben onto the cave floor as a as he was Stuck to a web, a huge spider pulled Elf Ben in a huge hole in the wall. Elf Ben was basically dead. But as 50 huge spiders were chasing both Elf Janet and Elf Janice and Elf Gordon and Elf Brent. Both Elf Brent and Elf Janet and Elf Janice made it out halfway. Elf Gordon fell to the ground, 
due to a huge spider in a hole dragging her up. She said, Fire bomb! screamed Elf Gordon as her eyes turned red. She lit the cave into flames as she ran out. The cave was basically in flames. The exit closed by rocks crashing down. Elf Gordon's eyes had turned back to blue as her greed in her head said, Fuck these guys. I'll show you a path of freedom and you'll love it and you'll call me Hope. So now it's the, basically the greatest hope. Said hope, a power of lies that only Elf Gordon has. Two hours later. We're going to a lake across from here. Then to a maze. Then a path of freedom. We can all escape this world. So what do you... All so, what do all of you say? said Elf Gordon as she giggled with her head facing down. As Elf Brent said, Shouldn't we just tell Janet and Janice? They set camp up. Come on, said Elf Brent as Elf Gordon looked up at him with red eyes. As she said, No, uh, eh. if. You do hurt you really bad. You understand that, right? Understood? Said Elf Gordon as she walked past Elf Brent. As her eyes turned gray again. As her skin turned normal white. As her... As her eyelids turned blue. But as Elf Brent saw Elf Gordon go to sleep along with Elf Janet and Elf Janice. He wondered... What has your soul turned into, Gordon? Elf Brent said inside his head. It's chapter 3 done. That is chapter 3 done. So thus, anyways... You wouldn't believe how short this one was. Um, as I'm describing this... I might do... Chapter, um, well, how long? First of all, how long is chapter four? I can't remember. So, chapter four is three pages long. Chapter two was only, or no, 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 no. Chapter three was the one we just read. Chapter four is three pages long. How long was this one? No, it was that one was three pages as well. I do believe. I do believe. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and then we'll go ahead and do the next video, okay? I'm going to do the next video in a different manga read-along. Well, not a different manga read-along, just in a different video. You guys know what I'm trying to say. You badasses know what I'm trying to say. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. As you might know, I'm not doing it in just one video like I do the rest of them. I am doing the rest of them like that, but however, with some certain ones like this, I'm just not going to do it in all one video. That's just too long, and it takes up the rest of my time. I'm feeling really tired, but we have covered chapters 2... Or I should just say chapters 1, 2, and 3. So there's only a lot of chapters left to go. I can't remember what the final chapter is called. Uh, okay then. That's, 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 that's weird. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I'll see all of you in the next one. This has been Masani Amaha, stuff of Final Entry Anime here. Without further ado, I am out for tonight. I will be recording more videos than you might think. Okay, but without further ado, I'm out of here. Remember, 
I'm not sponsored. But Powerade. I am not sponsored by Powerade. Hey.